so now we're talking about um, my health record. Have you seen this this week? So Tell us about your health record. I have, record. and I've heard, heard the, the rage. Uh, heard the rage. So there's been a lot of rage about this over this week. So in Australia, we're uh, the Australian government is launching um, nationwide uh, an online database, national database of your medical records, etc. Mm. Mm. Um, so, they, and at the moment, there's a three month opt out period. <clears throat> so if you don't go online and opt out, then you will an account will be created for you. Can you opt out after that account's been created? Uh, so what, what can happen is you can opt out at any time, but if any data, if data's collected before you opted out, that will re- stay there. Mm. And anything after that will not. What kind of data? So the data that they collect is numerous, right? So you th- you're talking about PBS. So that's all the kind of stuff about health services. You may see a specialist and you get Medicare, re- you, get, you, know, you get money back for that, or you may have an X-ray or MBS, which is medical um, benefit scheme, so any kind of um, pharmaceuticals or drugs that you use. And it all goes on there automatically. All goes on there. It's uh, linked so, through the pharmacy, through their yeah, GP. Yeah, so you can have, it's actually, so you know mygov.au. Mm-hmm. You know, I use it. Yep, it has our tax office there and yeah, I do my all tax the Medicare and all that kind of stuff. So now uh, my health records is there. So it's interesting. You can see a snapshot and health summaries. So any kind of letter that you get for a referral or a specialist letter, it can be up. It will be uploaded there, so you can so access it. Is, mm. What's the? Is there an upside to this? Because that sounds pretty handy. Is there a downside? Downside, you mean? It, this is this is great. So an interesting. <laughs> so like you have all the stuff like your imaging. So if you go and get an X-ray, you know how often you you have to take this big cumbersome film with you to take to your specialist. Yeah, yeah. And it's a pain in the butt. And I'm working with someone who's a Canadian <coughs> doctor, and she's pregnant, and she had to go get a scan, and and she just kind of laughed like. Why am I carrying this thing around? Because it doesn't happen in Canada, uh-huh. and they've all got an online mm. database of, uh, you know, online records to have yeah. that. Uh, so, so, you, go on. Yeah, so well, what's the downside? <laughs> wait, wait, so <laughs> they take going. the X-ray and it goes uploaded into the yeah, well, to a digital like a your digital account. Account. Yeah, and then link to your when account. you go to the GP or whatever, they or can the access it. Your <laughs> account. All health okay. specialists, etc., GPs, doctors, specialists. They can look at your health record. That makes a lot health. more sense than sticking the X-ray into the on those things. Thing. Even so, though, so she said we don't have those things anywhere. Yeah, in the hospital. That makes sense. So not, yeah. so not only special people have access to this. Uh, so you do, and you can give access to someone of next of kin, your wife, okay. your spouse, the doctor, the doctor. Well, no, the doctors they already have it. Automatically have it, right? They have it. Okay. What about the Russians? Can they see my X-rays? What? Yeah. So that you you. you I thought the rage was that people didn't like this, but this sounds awesome. It is good. So I'm going I'm giving you the plus side. Okay. So I, I think it's a good thing. Um, so essentially it creates an audit trail. And this is a problem because due to the inefficiencies of our health system where records are lost, things are, you know, come from a GP letter that the specialist doesn't understand because it was written in a rush. Or, like, or just the doctor wrote it, am I right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Like they reckon that over 200,000 people a year in Australia have like medication, uh, you know, problems, dosaging problems, or they're you know, medicated properly or given the wrong medication because of this, and then are mm. hospitalised. So that's a huge burden to the, the health system, to the taxpayer. Mm. One. Yeah. Um, and so I guess that's, I think, what the benefits are. Two, then another benefit is, uh, you know, I'm interested in, in health research. Uh, and this is something that is a possible tool that can be used for health research. You're going to take everyone's data. That's scary. <gasps> it is. So yeah, that I think that's people what are scared about. But the thing is, there would be stringent ethics for people who can actually get access to it, and all the data would be de-identified, so it couldn't yeah, be linked okay. to your name. So you just so it's just a number. So so I couldn't look at oh Chris Pearson or look at like, all these details. What would it say? CP. C- <laughs> <laughs> So I think people, people need to get into that. But there, there was one clause in it about, I think it was about um, protection of public revenue, the way they, they wrote it. Um, and people are worrying about what does this mean? Um, does it mean research purposes? So the effect that you're using this to look at, you know, health problems and you could, you know, whatever, public Isn't revenue that good? stop. I think that's a good thing. But the, the problem is if you create this online database of important, <coughs> sensitive, personal information, uh, it's a, a you know a target uh, for hackers. For hackers, Just we all remember saying. the census. Yeah, so people are scared about this, and I guess I don't know. It, it's about, I guess it comes down to your personality and your your attitude. Is there going to be some people who are very 
you know, protective and I don't think we'll ever be won over and they, they will opt out. I think over the first day, like two to 20,000 people opted out after mm. it was, you know, got media attention, etc. Mm. It's It seems too handy, man. Like, and especially after hooking up my tax to my, my gov thing. Yeah. It made it so friggin' easy yeah. to the, just look at all your information for the past 10 years in yeah. one login. It removes so much inefficiency, right? Yeah. So I think that's a huge benefit, one for the health system and one personally for people. Um, what happens if you opt out in the future? Does that make things like getting x-rays, you still have to do it the old way? Um, yeah. Is that going to mean that in the future, like way down the track, when the people are like going, we don't, we don't want to keep installing these wall lights yeah. anymore? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll have to have an option somewhere. Or like when you're in a line and mm. everyone's using PayPass and then you got that one douchebag who doesn't trust PayPass and puts his card Come all the way up into the thing and puts their PIN number yeah. in. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Just, Just on. PayPass. Yeah. Isolating three seconds. a large part of the audience who likes doesn't like PayPass. Grow up. <laughs> I guess I guess the so there was interesting a guy um, I think who was the previous head of kind of the data security um, with the government came out and said he wouldn't oh, he's not even an Australian but he would say he wouldn't opt in he would opt out so he because I think he's concerned about privacy and like there is always a concern that it could be hacked but I think on the plus side is they they had a trial for this um, for the last six years I think it had about a couple of million people in it and there's been no breaches or no kind mm. of um, um, you know serious concerns about privacy um, are we talking like privacy like people might find out you have a particular disease yeah. or so, but an interesting point like is to know that this the data here can't be sold to third parties for me that's the biggest concern that the idea that it could be sold to a legal firm it could be you know a third party could buy it like that's that's for me the an yeah, actual, I would imagine legal firms would really want it for like someone compensation are, claims and things yeah, like that then some other hacker getting into it um, you want it to stay altruistic and being like just pure free data to help the betterment of yeah, humankind, humankind, right? But no one thinks that's going to happen. No, right? no, I don't think so. I think people go to worst case scenarios, like right? They're going to sell this so to they the create, drug companies or something. They create an account for you, but you don't have a login and a password or you have to create one the first uh, time. I guess everyone will has like a MyGov account, right? If you And hooking it up to each we? service <laughs> is a pain in the ass, just so you know. It's good once know, you do I, it, but it takes bloody ages. Well, do I don't we know, all actually, have MyGov? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. But I so imagine there would be a name. Your name would be. There'd be a, an account associated with you if you don't opt in. It's like when you link your social media accounts, yeah. but not quick and easy. But how would you create an account? For uh, you. Like, how would you get a login the number. first time? For who? For someone? Yeah, for anyone. Like, if I know someone, I'm like, can yeah. I create an account? Like, can I go in and lock, create a password for them? Or uh, I automatically I would got have one it. through my Centrelink. So I think you, if you Go have to, any kind of audit, like I did so it going through my gov. my gov. So I went to you know search you know my, my my health records and then it links up with your my gov account. So I imagine if you set one up, you have to set up a my gov account. You have mm. to verify your identity. Yeah, yeah okay. that's how I yeah. got it through Centrelink. And then every yeah. time you log in there, it sends a text message to you to get a code kind of thing mm. to step off. Which is so annoying. Yeah, it it does annoying. make you feel safe, but geez, it's annoying. Um, so and I think so. The, the why that guy was saying that he would opt out is because the default privacy settings are not, um, I guess, what everyone would you know the the, the highest level. Uh, it's interesting. It's actually really customizable. You can actually every kind of record that's put up there. You can say, oh, I want this private. I don't want anyone else to see. You, oh. you say, oh, I can. T- I want to take this off. So, so you can actually choose. It's really customizable. It's like your Facebook wall. Yeah. So <laughs> so if you had herpes, you could say, "Don't show my herpes." Yeah, I want to show my off. X-ray. I yeah. don't want Dip to know I have herpes. <clears throat> I already know. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, and, and I guess so there's been. I think this year there was a, a. There's a. It's called Health Engine, and it's like a doctor booking service to you know book a specialist or a GP, and they found and they were you know caught selling that data to third parties including legal firms mm. um so i guess people you know have a lot of mistrust and i think a lot i think a lot of people who opt out are like i don't trust the government they're Especially plagued by inefficiencies um you know what are they gonna they're gonna get hacked the census comes to mind uh and they you know they really think worst case scenarios yeah uh, doctors like, i've changed my address with the rta yeah six times now yeah and my stuff still goes to his house yeah which yeah, i moved out of like two years ago <laughs> it's true um, are doctors happy about it? Uh, I think it will remove, yeah, remove a lot of in- inefficiency. Cool. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I personally will be opting in, won't opt out. Mm. Um, but just something everyone anything, needs to consider. Right? Uh, I would just set it up. I set mine up. 
Well, oh, you go, have to go, well, no, you don't have to set anything up, but just go look at it, I think. Like, that's what I did. I haven't see... gone to the doctor in years, mm-hmm. so there's just not going to be anything there, right? Yeah, no, I didn't have anything in there. What if you have okay. something wrong with you? I, I will. <laughs> I just, I haven't. <laughs> just not yet. So it's really conservative. I'm not saying I'm opposed to the idea of going <laughs> to a doctor. I'm just saying I haven't been to a doctor. Just anti-doctor. <laughs> um, cool. Crazy. And do you want to know what else is happening in the world? No, we, we're actually exactly at the hour. No, no, okay, This is good. a perfect time to stop. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Fish yeah. oil is a, is a scam. Somebody stop me. Yeah. Which apparently Jim Carrey is out for the... Um, Sonic movie? Mars. Ace Ventura sequel. It's a sequel? A, yeah, they, was, they were trying to set up a sequel. They were talking to the African guy that's his friend in the second one. Can't remember. And his name was uh, Little Warrior yeah. in the movie. And he's like, no, Jim Carrey is not interested in it. Really? Yeah. So it's not going to happen. No. Hopefully, it shouldn't. As a bonus topping for Mally Little. <laughs> Man, anyway, imagine just having to replace. He's like, going to play Doctor Eggman though. Yeah, I heard Sonic. That. Yeah. Being yeah. Harrison Ford in Solo would have been hard enough. <laughs> I can't imagine um, anything harder James. than being Jim Carrey. Uh, what's his name? The guy from How I Met Your Mother did it in a series on unfortunate events. Neil Patrick Harris. That's it. Yeah, but did he do it as well as Jim Carrey? I only watched the new one. And, and that's Jim Carrey in a series of unfortunate events, not Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura. No, that's it. It's a bit more iconic. He's so though. Jim Carrey in that. Yeah. Mm. He's Jim Carrey in a lot of things. <laughs> like the sunshine. mask. The number twenty-three. Yeah, I saw that. I remember Top Secrets. <laughs> Man, that movie was weird. <laughs> I loved it. Anyway, you would. I like Jim Carrey. I get why people don't like him, but I like him. People don't like him. A lot of people don't like Jim Carrey. There's got to be something of his that you like. He's just like Crazy the whole piece. gamut. It's got a bit weird at the end, right? Well, not the end, but recently, right? <laughs> You're planning like something? Like, something? I don't know. Something Something happened with died. his daughter or daughter-in-law. Girlfriend or something. Like just, we, we did the topic. I can't remember. Suicide. Yeah. yeah. But he was accused of giving a pill or something. Yeah. All right. Way to bring us down, guys. Anyway. Thanks, this has been Transcending ep- episode 97. We're almost at 100. What are we going to do for 100? You'll see. Mm. <laughs> we go through what's trending every week. We are group settings. My name is Ali. Oh, Emma joined. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Yo, congrats, Emma. I'm Jono. I'm Emma. <laughs> I'm Dip. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next <laughs> week. 8 p.m. on Facebook or YouTube or audio podcast. Congratulations, Emma. Mm. The site went down for a few days this week. It's because I didn't pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> he won't join too. Yeah.